it's just frustrating because we came down here thinking we were going to be settled in a new house on March 17th. Uh, and now... <laughs> Trying mom in the front seat. Basie, we're gonna turn it back on when I'm finished talking to the watchers. You wanna say good morning? Okay. Good morning, watchers from sunny St. Augustine. We wanted to give you guys kind of a not so sunny update. Remember, we told you guys that we had a house that we put an offer in on a condo and the offer was accepted same day. Well, there was a reason why they were so urgent about accepting our offer the same day. Their condo association does not cover roof and exterior. Right, they don't do any mold treatments, no siding, no roof, which for those of you that are condo owners, for an HOA not to do that kind of stuff is pretty unheard of That's, because yeah. the re reason you get a condo is because you're responsible for what's on the inside of the walls, not what's on the outside. Like the owners knew that, but they didn't have to disclose that <laughs> until to, but... the offer was accepted. And then they give us what's called the condo resale package, which you don't even buy until uh, you have an offer on your home. So that's the only time you can back out of the contract legally still if under a condo um, under a condo deal. Is once you get that package, if you don't agree with something that's in it. In there, they read that, you know, it's not gonna, they don't cover exterior maintenance or anything like that. And our mortgage loan officer called and the underwriter told them like, hey, we're not gonna approve this loan because that's crazy. Yeah, a lot of And a lot of conventional loans uh, don't approve with that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it wasn't denied. No, it, it was it was going to be yeah. denied, so we pulled it early. Pulled right, our offer early. and we were able to get our deposit back, which is good. Yeah. But it's just frustrating because we came down here thinking we were going to be settled in a new house on March seventeenth, uh, and now today we are actually driving from St. Augustine to Jacksonville to do some home tours because this is our first time that we have put in two offers and it hasn't worked out. The first offer was not accepted by the seller whose house is, by the way, still on the market, who thinks he's gonna get that price that it doesn't appraise for. And then this situation, <laughs> this condo that we put an offer in on had HOA fees that were like- $500. Yeah, $500 a month, which is, we were okay with because like we said, the water bill was included. They have amazing pool facilities and great gym and security and all that. Uh, but now that you don't cover the exterior then my question is what am i paying for especially living in a state like florida where there's hurricanes there's a literal hurricane season right our roof could get ripped off and then yeah. what we have to pay for it ripped like, off badly damaged from just and also because of that as well our mortgage loan officer was like if you choose to go with this and it's some by some miracle gets approved obviously it's going to make our homeowners yeah, insurance, our homeowners insurance shoot up. Will be out the wazoo right so we just thought it wasn't financially wise. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna go look at houses today. We'll take you guys, I don't know if we'll take you inside the houses, but we'll at least debrief with you in between houses and show you uh, what our day is like. Now we're at the point where we're like, okay, like this has happened, but we still trust God. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise and God still cares for us. He still <coughs> takes care of us. He's, he knit us together as a family. He brought us together. Why wouldn't he provide us with what we need? Right. He's still good, even though we're, you know, a little disappointed. So, Will is saying it's probably going to be a no. I was leaning towards maybe, but we said so before that anything that we look at today, we need to feel like we're in love with it in order to put an offer in. And I, I didn't feel that way either. So we really liked the downstairs. It was nice and open and light. It had a really nice lanai. Um, and it was a corner corner uh, townhome condo. So you had the side yard, which would be nice for the kids. The downstairs was great. It's, but it's right in the middle of like, I can actually show you because we're driving through it. We're in the middle, we would be in the middle of all these like hotels. And, um, we're not feeling that. I'm good. 
Yeah, and Plus, we... there was also, there's a bunch of cosmetic fixes. There's dents and dings everywhere. It would have to be repainted. It would have to get new carpets. The screen on the deck, part of it needs to be replaced. And they're offering, they're asking for the top dollar. So I'm like, you would have to come down 20 grand before I put in that price. Yeah. The view, the view from the, uh, the primary bedroom was the back of the Holiday Inn. And I, I mean, I don't want to look at that when I wake up. Also, sorry, I'm trying to also give, trying to multitask here, y'all. Oh, there's no park. There's no playground. And that, you know, we, we want to have a playground in the neighborhood. Even the last house that we lived in technically had a playground in the neighborhood that we could use. And that's really uh, useful during the day with homeschooling, you know, so. And it had too many the, conditions. The pool that was there was very small. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like Kristen was saying, it, it's not only is it the top of our budget, but it's also a $250 a month HOA yeah. for amenities that I... Yeah, the amenities aren't great. Like, the, yeah. like yeah, we'll say the pool is really tiny. There's no playground. They do upkeep the grass, which is nice, and they do do the exterior, which is better than the last yeah, place. The did it. Because we're in this situation, we want to be really careful about being desperate Correct. and buying out of desperation and then regretting it later. So we're now on the way to another house that um, is actually the same layout as the first house we put an offer in on. So we, we know we're going to probably like the layout, but it'll be cool to see it in person. trying Whataburger. We don't have that up in Maryland and I've never had it before. I had it a lot in Alabama but it's just not bad. And uh, Basie oh, wow. loves burgers so we thought why not? Why not do what the southerners do? No. Alright I'm gonna try these fries. Let's see. They're alright? If I had to rate them Using like five guys fries, which we think are terrible, as like a zero. And McDonald's or a Zaxby's fry as a 10. These are a four. No, I'm saying a four. <laughs> so they're not great. You know what's funny too, Chris? Is like, <laughs> what's interesting too is people that are listening to this for fry comparison we're like zaxby's is a 10 mcdonald's fries are a 10 someone watches it and be like whoa those fries are like nothing alike they're but they're amazing yeah they're both good in their own right but they are nothing alike but also i think like chick-fil-a fries that are perfectly salted are an eight chick-fil-a though where are you getting those fries with the condiments and everyone the, the condiments makes it a 10 if it's perfectly salted crispy not not flimsy and crazy with the condiments, it makes it a 10. But they're not a 10 on their own, which is why they can't be a 10. McDonald's fries and Zaxby's fries don't need anything. Anyway, these are four. So we, we'll debrief later, y'all. But we just looked at a house that is it's in Jacksonville, but it borders Atlantic Beach. Um, it's a little further north than what we were originally looking for. But I mean, we have to go with what's on the market. The nice thing is, is that it would put us about 10 minutes from the beach and you all know we are beach people. So we're driving around right now. The Whataburger was right over here in Atlantic Beach. And now we're driving around. I'm sorry y'all, but early is not having it. So yeah, well, you can tell we're at a beach town right now. Oh yeah. Jacksonville Beach. So Jacksonville Beach and Atlantic Beach are connected to each other. I mean, they all connect, but they're really close. So it's basically that we'd be living right off, you know, right by Jack's Beach. So, Basie, did you like your burger? No. No, she didn't like it. That's all right. Um, it was bad. It was bad? So, uh, early, no, no. It was bad? Okay. I thought that the Whataburger burger tastes like a Sonic burger. If you ever had that, I mean, Sonic burgers are pretty good, but I'm not clamoring for them. So, I mean, 
It was okay. I don't know if I'll go back. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. It was a good thing to experience something that is a local thing or regional thing because we don't have Whataburger in Maryland. Uh, so it was good to have the experience, but early school on the phone if you see some shaking. But I don't. I don't want it again. I think it was kind of weird how the default option on a burger was mustard. Like I feel like it's typically ketchup. Yeah. So you have to ask for ketchup because it only just comes with mustard. It's yeah. like, okay, that's kind of an odd thing to be unique about, but whatever. Yeah, it, 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 no. So we're good. It was a nice thing to try though. Y'all are gonna think, <laughs> we need to do a review where we actually, we did do one where we really loved at ramen, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Not bad price. Okay, yeah, where do you pay? <laughs> Ooh, it's a little bit of rough for us. We're gonna go. I don't even feel like talking, y'all. It's just rough. Base. 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 We made it. We're at the beach. So we are back at Volano Beach after we finished our home tours. We saw one home that we really like. It's actually by the same builder that did uh, our first time we made it off so It's the exact same layout, but finished. Doesn't need any TLC or any kind of <laughs> or any kind of um, updating. They did they did some paint in there, but it's pretty bad. So like we we yeah they should have left it to they should have left it alone. <laughs> they painted their cabinets. They look terrible. Yeah. But it's okay, like we can fix that ourselves and paint. I'm pretty good with painting, so. Our uh, realtor was like, just treat it as your base coat. Which is true. Yeah, the colors they chose are nice. And they left us nice. all the paint cans, so we know what colors to continue to get. Say hello. Okay, yeah, so we wanna put an offer in on that home. We said we did not wanna put an offer in unless we were head over heels. Oh, and we I were definitely, oh, and we were definitely head over heels, so. We're gonna put an offer in. Our realtor right now, this afternoon, is doing some work pulling comps and figuring out some more details and stuff, and then we'll put in an offer, so. Yeah, and like we said, it is a little bit further away than what we were intending, but I think it would still put us within 45 minutes of Mom and Neil's house. Yeah. So, yeah, we're excited. We're hoping that it works out this time, so. And if not, you're gonna see us in an apartment, yeah, so. That is that's, what it's that's it. it is. That's yeah. it, that's yeah. it. So three strikes, we're out. All right. If it doesn't work. We're gonna hang out with the kids and enjoy some time at the beach. <laughs>